okay, draw the graph um, y equals 2. Now, y equals 2 is a straight line, and um, it's actually a horizontal line, okay? Um, so, in terms of the axes I've drawn here, what you do is, when it says y equals 2, you literally go to y equals 2. y equals 2 is there, isn't it? There's the y-axis, y equals 2 there, and sort of like put a little mark through it, as you would to represent that number 2, and then we're going to draw a line through that mark, okay? And that's my horizontal line there, uh, y equals 2, and I'd label it, okay? Um, so basically, as I said, simple principle is y equals 2, go to y, where y equals 2 on the y-axis, and then mark it and draw a line through it. And what you can do, right, just to convince you that line is y equals 2, let me just show you a few coordinates, you know, this coordinate here. Um, you've got to, for that coordinate, you've got to go across 3 up 2, haven't you? Okay, so I could write that coordinate like that, across 3 up 2. Um, I could do this coordinate here, across, across 1 up 2. Okay, this coordinate over here, I could do across to minus 3, isn't it? Up 2. Now I could keep doing that, but what I want you to notice this is a common theme, isn't it? Notice, even though I'm at different x values, the y value is always the same, isn't it? The y is always equal to 2. Okay, it's consistently equal to 2 anywhere on the line. That's why it's called y equals 2. Um, for B, then, I've drawn this axis, okay? Um, it says draw the line x equals minus 4. Now, x equals minus 4 is actually a vertical line, okay? It's a vertical line, and you do the same um, as we've done before. You go now to where x is minus 4. So, there's the x-axis, and x is minus 4 here. Mark it. Look, it's already got a mark through it, but I'll emphasize that there, okay? Um, so, there's x minus 4, and I'll draw a line through that mark, Okay? Again, I could do the same thing, right? I could pick some points here. Okay, that would be minus 4, wouldn't it? Minus 2, that coordinate. This coordinate up here would be minus 4, um, 4. No, minus 4, 3, sorry. Yeah? I mean, it's always consistently then, always consistently, x equals to minus 4. Yeah, the x value is always minus 4. All right? So that's one way to see it. Obviously, you know, it's, it's, things are sort of opposite, isn't they? Because... When you see y equals, you think it's got to be vertical, but actually, y equals um, a, a number, it will be a horizontal line, okay? And um, the similarly then with x equals x equals, you think it goes across, but actually it's the opposite. So when x is minus 4, when x is anything, it's a vertical line, okay? And as I said, go to where x is minus 4 on the x-axis, mark it, draw a line through it, and you're done.